Okay, once we get out here to the cows, I normally set just some yellow posts. These are through timeless fence. We put the post back, the fence back up, just in case you always have the one. Then what we do is we come over here. I see it drug the ground because we got so far off on the center. We cut up by the winch. and we cut our net wrapping off. What are you doing, girl? Mm -hmm. And we come to the back. And you can see that it it drugged this one off, which we just come about four or five miles down the road. So after we start to unroll, we will come back and pick that net wrapping up. You do not want to leave this out with your cat. Around here, Damon. After you're in your field and you where you're where you want to be. We're on old crop ground right here that hasn't been farmed in a lot of years. We're trying to cover the whole thing here. Short, compact, we're keeping them in tight. Um, let, let's see how we undo the bait. You come up and you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna hold it down. It's gonna wanna naturally lift over. Just like that, it's really easy. You're going to unhook the winch and you're going to let it fall. It's already on the ground. We bring that net wrap out. We step a post to it. That way it doesn't go with the bale. We know exactly where it is to pick it back up. Unwrapped one roll. You can see where we went. Come around here. Once you've unwrapped one roll and the bale has moved sideways, now you have a little bit of space. We come through and we just push it on in. That's about all it needs to be in. We're feeding four by six bales here. We retighten our chain. We put our safety clip back on. And we go to unrolling. 